How's everyone today? It's Lynn from Lynn's Talk Studio. And um, I'm excited today, I'm really excited. Um, today is my daughter's gotcha day. And if you're not familiar with that term, it means she was adopted. And today was the day that she arrived in my arms at four and a half months. And oh, it was an exciting day. We got that phone call and I didn't sleep for three days. I was just so excited. And then when she got home, I was so excited that um, I stayed awake watching her sleep. Like, stupidest thing ever. Anyway, welcome. And we've got some crafting to do today. And um, I actually have three projects for us. And they all are back to school gifts, whether it's teacher, bus driver, paraprofessional, um, whoever does not matter. So we're going to start, what I'm doing is I'm using the back to school minis, which is 12 stencils. Yeah, 12. And they're teeny tiny. They're three inches, but they fit on so many things and they are so versatile that it's just, it's awesome. So I'm going to start with that and we are going to be using ink. So I have my ruby red ink, and then I have A plus for that A plus teacher, and then I also have a squeegee, of course. Now with with this mug, it's a little it's a little bit different shape. It's not quite totally round. It's kind of kind of flattish on one side. Anyway. Um, when you chalk on ceramic or ink, excuse me, we're gonna ink, um, when you take your stencil off the backer and see I have A plus on there, and then we're gonna fuzz. And fuzzing just means that we are taking off some of that stickiness. And especially with glass and ceramic, you need to really get the sticky off of that because otherwise what happens is your stencil can stick to your surface and then it's really hard to pull off and you could actually stretch it. So I'm gonna put my glasses on here and you know what, that's stuck to my finger a little bit more than I liked. So I don't know if you can hear in the background, but I am here with my fur baby coworkers and they hear the slightest sound and barking. So please excuse the barking. Hopefully they'll be, they'll be quiet. Okay, I'm just gonna put this on our mug. And my mug is moving, of course. And then I'm just gonna push down. Now, because this is not a flat surface, what's gonna happen is that I really have to be careful to make sure that I really have my sides down so that it doesn't leak underneath. And sometimes it'll crease a little bit and you just really, <laughs> hi, you really, really have to be um, careful with that. Okay, so I'm going to open my ink. Oh, something has them excited, oh boy. And I stirred this earlier to make sure it was the consistency I wanted. And there's that ruby red, it's so pretty. Um, in the fall, red is my favorite color. Otherwise, it's blue, 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 blue. But in the red, so I'm just going to gently ink, oh, come on around these edges, and I'm being very careful not to actually touch my mug because then I will ink my mug in a place that I don't wanna have ink. All right, so we just have that bottom, let's see if we can get this bottom half to go. All right, just get that final ink off. I'm gonna set that aside. I have little ceramic tiles here. I think Menards had them for 11 cents, so I bought these. And that's what I set my um, 
the squeegees on when I'm done. So you can see this is, is not sticking really hard. It's coming up pretty easy. And I see I missed a little spot, but I have a teeny tiny little secret about that. I'm just gonna wash this off a little bit. Now, when you have inks like um, the color red, the dark ones, they tend to stick to your stencils. And I noticed I do not have a stencil cleaner out. So I have my stencil cleaner and I'm just gonna rub across that really quick here and I'll show you my stencil you, you can still see some of the red and that's okay staining doesn't do anything so there we go and I'm gonna set that aside now with my mug here here is my a plus mug and I told you that I missed a teeny tiny spot so I'm gonna grab one of my paintbrush squeegees looks like this they're pretty cool I like them and I'm just gonna dip just a teeny tiny bit in there and then I'm just going to fill in very carefully that little spot that I missed. Now, um, because I am here for a while with you, I'm just going to set that aside and let that dry on its own. I'm actually going to let it dry for 24 hours and then I will put it in the oven. Now, when I'm heat setting this, I know it's permanent, but you still need to heat set it. I will have a cookie sheet. I'll put it in the oven cold. Turn my oven up to... Okay, come on. Yay. I bet they were calling... Oops, we don't have that down far enough. I bet they were calling to tell me that um, they could help me with my student loans that I don't have. Because um, I went to college back when it was affordable. My parents actually paid cash and they were not wealthy people. So anyway, enough of that. Um, back to what I was saying. So cold oven, preheat to 350. Then put your mug or whatever surface that you've done in the oven at 350. Set your timer for 20 minutes. And when that 20 minutes goes off, turn your oven off. So you're gonna preheat the oven with that cookie sheet in. Once it hits 350, add that mug, 20 minutes, and then turn the oven off, but leave the mug. You're gonna leave that until it is as, that oven is as cold as it was when you first went to preheat it. So I'm gonna set my red ink aside and we're gonna move on to something really fun. I like it. Um, we are going to use, why do I have Mod Podge here? We're not using Mod Podge, okay. What did I do? Oh, come on, Lynn. Oh, here we go. We are going to use Etching cream. That's really funny. I, Mod Podge would not work for what we're doing, but anyway, I'm going to shake my bottle a little bit just to kind of mix that around. Now, the other thing that I'm going to do is I am going to put on my fancy dancy gloves. I was hoping, now I'm going to take this off. It's just going to get caught on my Fitbit. Um, anyway, I really like the, the little ones that are clear. And did you think I had any? No, these are, so, these are so big and heavy that it's hard to control. However, if you did not know, etching cream is toxic. And so I take that back. I am not gonna put these on yet because I'm not gonna be able to do this. So what we have is a yogurt jar. So these are really handy. Did you know that this is we uh, yogurt and you can order covers for these. And yes, of course I have covers because I have a million of these and my husband keeps asking me when I'm gonna stop eating. So we're gonna make a little um, votive candle from this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out. This one's a pencil and I'm gonna go over here and I'm fuzzing it again. And you know what, when I move that camera, it's moving. 
excuse me one second. Hopefully that's better. Oh, can we have anything else go wrong? It's Wednesday, not even a Monday, and you know, we've had the phone ring and the camera move, and Lynn has Mod Podge instead of having her, oh, whatever, etching cream. Okay, so I'm gonna fuzz that, and again, I'm gonna fuzz this really well because, like I said, when it's glass or ceramic, these will stick. Even um, if you do something enameled, these stick big time and it's pretty easy to you know when you're really pulling to get them off um this one I'm actually going to put my pencil at more of an angle here and so again we have something rounded and there could be creasing and if it creases you have a chance of getting that having it slip underneath okay so my pencil is on. Now I'm going to put on my gloves. And like I said, I don't care for these. And unfortunately, Kirk and I do a lot of furniture. And I think what happened was that we've had them out in the garage staining. And so, of course, when I went to grab them, this is what I had. So um, etching cream is very very toxic you don't want it to get on your skin it will burn your skin and can cause permanent damage if it happens to get on your skin in cold water right away i do have my water bucket right over here so i'm just going to dip my paintbrush and this paintbrush seriously is one of those paintbrushes that you buy your kids this is not my expensive artists no i'm not an artist but my artist um my artist Oh, come on, Lynn, my artist paintbrushes. Okay, so I'm just, I'm painting the etching cream on my pencil here. Okay, there goes the dogs. I knew it wasn't gonna be quiet today. So we've had the phone interrupt us. We've had the dogs interrupt us. Uh, let's see, Lynn's forgotten that she didn't have etching cream. Okay. So I'm gonna get this on here and I'm gonna put it on here relatively thick. And again, I'm checking, I don't want to have any surfaces missed. Now you can etch on any kind of glass, however, I will warn you, on thicker glasses, glass, um, such as Pyrex, it's a little bit more difficult. So I'm gonna throw my, paintbrush in the water and I'm going to pull off my stencil. You know, it's really hard to pull stencils off with these big gloves on. Let's see if I can get my finger under that corner. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to I'm going to pull down. And no, this does not it does not ruin. It's really hard to pull these off with gloves. Oh. Um, so I have my etch design. Now I'm just gonna let that set over here for a few minutes. I'm gonna wash my stencil again with my stencil sponge. Now, when I'm done with this live, what I will do is I will go and thoroughly wash my, my um, stencil sponge. And I will do that with my gloves on. So I'm just gonna take my gloves off and set those aside. I'm going to cover up this. So, so far we have, let's do this. We'll light this one so you can see. We have our etched votive candle. See, I don't know what that lighting, if you can see that, I'll take a picture. And then we have our A-plus mug. So I'm just gonna set those aside. Mug is drying for heat set. The other is, I'm not gonna let it dry on there. I just want it to sit for about 10 minutes. So when I'm, when I'm done with the video, probably is when I will uh, wash that off. Let's see, okay, 
our last thing is a magnet. And um, this is just, um, okay, Lynn's having a Monday on a Wednesday. Are you kidding me? Ah! So I just, I, I painted this and I also have a magnet. Now I buy these magnets in, in really, they're in sheets of eight and a half by 11. Anyway, this backing is really hard to get off. So I always pull up the corner because otherwise I'm sitting here fumbling. So I'm just going to take this. What I did was I painted it with acrylic paint and then I clear coated it. So that's ready to go. And today's stencil is Teach, Love, Inspire. And I tell you, you have to love teaching to be a teacher. You really do. I was a teacher for over 30 years. Loved, love, 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 love my job. And now I love what I'm doing. I am retired and enjoying my retirement and crafting away. So thank those teachers. And this is just one way that you can thank and appreciate the teachers who help your children learn and grow. All right. So I have this, I'm gonna set my stencil down on it and I'm feeling like you can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so here we are. Um, I'm gonna use Azure for Teach, I believe, let's see. And you know what, these are, let's get it on there straight, Lynn. We're gonna have a lopsided Okay, and try that again. All right, there we go. Better. Okay, um, what I did was I took a cut apart squeegee and it's about this big and I, and I cut it. And I did that because if I used the big squeegee and came across here, I'd be covering all my letters. I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna take blue and again, I, I went through and I stirred this ahead of time. And I'm just going to go across, teach, and I'm doing this slower than I want because I don't want to touch that other edge. Okay, squeegee, squeegee that off. Okay, and then I'm going to use red for love and I'm you know what I'm actually gonna come down this way from the top because I'm finding that's going to be easier not to touch that blue chalk paste now I also want these little hearts red so I'm gonna come down here and get my little Red hearts. Red, yellow, blue. I went with primary colors and didn't even realize it. Okay, I'm going to cover that up, set that aside. And now I'm going to grab uh, canary yellow. And so I just have Inspire left in the middle. And I'm going to take that canary yellow and... Let's get that, get that in here. Now, when doing this, you actually have to work quickly so that your chalk paste does not dry on your stencil. And you know, I'm feeling like I'm missing that little corner. So I'm gonna take another one of the, the paintbrush squeegees and I'm just gonna come across here and I'm doing that with this particular one because I have more control over it and so I just feel like I'm not gonna get chalk paste into colors that I don't want to cover that up. Okay, so now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take this up by the corner, but you don't wanna pull across, you actually want to pull down and there we have it. So how fun is that? Um, I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to 
use my, you know, you can use a hair dryer. I have a heat gun, don't have to. Hair dryer works fine. And I'm just gonna dry that off. And I'm doing that because I'm gonna turn it over for that magnet. And I don't wanna do that when it's wet because then of course we just have a hot mess. So let's get this done. Make sure it's really dry. And just so you know, dogs walking by because the dogs are barking, so that's what it is. Actually, that bark is that bark is kids on bicycles. Yeah, I know. Weird. I I know that. I know my dogs barks like little kids. Okay, I'm just gonna peel this off, and you can see how that's just gonna to get off there. Then I'm gonna take my magnet. And these are just little square canvas boards. And canvas boards can either come with a frame. I bought the flat canvas and I got these at Michael's. But isn't that just cute? And so every teacher has a file cabinet and their desk and they can put it anywhere. They could put it on their refrigerator if they wanted to. So like I said, We've got our teacher mug. And you know, really, if my kids were still in school, I would fill this with goodies for the teacher. In fact, yeah, candy, chocolate, chocolate. Teachers need chocolate. And of course, we have our votive here. And I'm going to real quick take my stencil sponge and I'm going to wash this off. Now, normally, I'd be running this under water. And then I'm just going to take my towel and dry it and yes I did that without my gloves which is probably kind of stupid let me get my candle back in here and I'm hoping this lighting is going to be enough for you to see that pencil it may not be the pencil is like right here if you can't see that so um we have that and then we have our little magnet and teachers just want to be appreciated and Really, it's it's a job where they don't get a lot of thank yous. And um, so thank those teachers and let them know that you're thinking about them. Past two years have been pretty hard. Let's cross our fingers that everyone has a much better year and that we all st stay healthy and, and well. So with that, I am going to say have a good day and happy chalking. Bye.